Hicks from Hong Kong. Let's bring up Play Roll. Give him a round of applause for Play Roll. Hi everyone. My name is Enoch. I'm the co-founder of Play Roll. Play Roll is name your own price for concert tickets. Concert is already a big market in Southeast Asia. It's a 400 million market, and as you know, uh, music industry is going through a pre a premium transformation, right? Uh, concert is already the, the main reason, uh, the, the main way that uh, the artists are making money. And we expect the market in Southeast Asia to grow very quickly. Now, Ticketland hasn't really evolved for 20 years or more. On the one hand, you have a very serious ticket scouting issue, where all the fans can get their front row seats, and all the profit doesn't go to the organizers, it goes to the ticket scalpers. On the other hand, you have a very serious unsold ticket problem that affects even Justin Bieber and LMFAO. The root cause of all that is mispricing of concert tickets. Now, this is currently how the organizers price the tickets, right? You have three or five ticket classes based on how good the seats are. And that's not how the actual demand curve looks like. The, it, the actual curve looks like this. Every seat carries a different market price. A front row seat would just be better than a third row seat, which would be better than a fifth row seat. So when you combine the two, right, the front row seats are always underpriced, that's why you have a lot of scalp tickets. And the middle ones are always overpriced, and these would be the unsold tickets. So what Playroll does is we introduce a name your own price system to have the organizers discover the price for each seat. And it's a way for the consumers to get the tickets they want at the price that they're willing to pay. So how it works, just go to the Playroll app or go to our website and we work with organizers to create sort of uh, VIP packages or discount tickets, right? And we don't compete with um, Systec or Ticket.com because we deal with the organizers on a consignment basis. Uh, let's, say the, let's say there's a limited quantity of 100 tickets uh, which also includes a meet and greet the artists. How it works is you just go to the Playroll app or the website and enter the price that you're willing to pay and you will see like what, are, what is your chance of winning the bid. If you adjust your bid, your chance of winning would uh, change too. It's supported by our backend algorithm. And you will only be charged when your ticket or VIP package is confirmed. So in the short run, in the next 12 to 18 months, we are going to target about 400 shows we expect to drive $50 of additional profit for each ticket, and people will take a commission out of that. We estimate the commission to about $2 million US dollars in the first um, 12 to 18 months. In the long run, we really want to change the how concerts are being organized. You know, right now you have promoters in the middle who underwrite the entire concert and frequently make bad decisions, right? Um, we think that there is a way to be a direct bridge between the artists and the music fans, and they will be payroll leveraging our big data. We were launched 11 months ago. Uh, we have uh, 40,000 mobile installs and half a million US dollars of gold booking. We have made some consumers very happy because now they can get the seats that they want. We are going to leverage our business development and also our investors' referrals to target 400 shows. We have some partners already, but we are in discussion with four more. They are strategic partners who understand that change for the ticketing industry is just on the horizon. We are going to expand from Hong Kong, first to Singapore, and then to Kuala and Kuala Lumpur. These are all you know, cultural centers with you know, a strategic importance for uh, the artists and the promoters. So my name is Enoch. I, uh, I spent three years at McKinsey before I quit my job to do play role. My partner, Hayne, used to work at uh, Goldman. I actually went to the same high school and college with him. Uh, our tech co-founder, KK, uh, is a hackathon champion, also a yo-yo national champion. Uh, we are supported by angel investors who have very deep background. They have organized you know, uh, 500 concerts together. Um, uh, they have deep backgrounds in concert, and we are further supported by early stage PC fund. So we are looking to raise 1 million to 2 million US dollars from investors who understand the Southeast Asia landscape and can help us with our setting, a, setting up the shop. Um, this is it. That's not me, by the way. So, who is your customer? Strictly speaking, uh, our customers are the music fans. 
But of, of course, if you get Lady Gaga tickets on your platform, right, you can sell the tickets even without any marketing. So in a, in a way that the, the organizers are also our customers. So you go to the organizer and you say, come do an event with me using payroll. Yeah, we will tell them, hey, uh, just uh, we think that your tickets can be so high, more expensive. How many events have you done so far? We have done about a uh, hundred concerts so far. And your revenue is? Uh, half a million US dollars. Okay. And how long is the time cycle? So typically, you know, a concert takes six months of preparation or three months preparation. Yeah, yeah. From the time you start selling the ticket and this bidding war happens and then yeah. you come yeah. out completely sold out. Yeah, so uh, we typically start selling, if it's a VIP ticket, right? It will be, I think, roughly two months, one to two months before the, the concert happens. And we try to do it before public sale, right? Because the organizers need to, you know, uh, take the tickets out as a consignment basis. For the discount tickets, which can be used for uh, name your own price as well, it will be like seven days before the show, when these are all a distressed inventory. Uh, if you look at eBay over time, Consumers have shown that they don't like the bidding system. Uh, we look at Priceline over time, we have seen that consumers don't like the bidding system. Uh, you are smart guys. Uh, why do you think that's the right strategy? Or what's your thinking behind the, that the bidding is such a key part of your business model? Thank you for asking that question. So, name your own price is essentially hidden option, right? And it's hidden, hidden is a huge benefit you know, for, for the organizers and the fans and the artists. Because you don't want to charge openly charge like three hundred US dollars for a Lady Gaga ticket, it's gonna have like it's gonna be value uh, very badly in the press. And one more thing about you know concert is that you know uh, if you have tickets to the uh, the idols concert, the fans are going to jump through hoops to 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 get the tickets right. So name your own price. You know, for normal businesses it have conversion. For concert and music fans, it doesn't have conversion at all. So how far have you come with uh, how predictable your user acquisition has become? Like I know you rely a lot on the organizers to promote it on your behalf, right? But do you spend a lot of time or money thinking about how you acquire your users for, on your own? Yeah, I think it's actually quite straightforward, right? We, we, we do many two types of marketing, uh, Facebook and Google. Um, the Facebook uh, install rate is, uh, uh, the, the install cost is actually very low because we can actually target uh, the fans who have indicated that they like uh, Lady Gaga or whoever. And for uh, Google, right, you just uh, paste an ad word for uh, Lady Gaga concert, Hong Kong, or something. It's very straightforward. Very timely. Very timely. How, how big is this uh, concert ticket market in Hong Kong, Singapore, and Indonesia based on your research? Yeah, so the total market is about 400 million US. Um, Hong Kong right now is about 120 million, similarly in Hong Kong, so the rest, you know, about uh, 100, uh, 100 million or so, is a combination of, you know, Bangkok, Jakarta, Kuala Lumpur and everyone. But of course we think that Southeast Asia is going to be the future. Like, uh, well, what has your uh, user data shown? How, how far in advance do people book shows? Because often I book something and then my schedule changes, I can't go. Uh, like what is with this bidding system? I'm still kind of thinking through that. Uh, how far in advance do people normally book? You know, so typical public sale of tickets is like uh, six to eight weeks before the show happens. Um, and uh, you know, uh, and, and, and the name your own price for the IP package usually would be like seven to fourteen days before that. It doesn't take too long, but for ten, seven to fourteen days. And if you're a music fan, like you, you like K-pop artists, you're gonna make sure that you can clear out your schedule to do the concert. I mean, that's how crazy the fans are. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Play roll. Thank you very much. All right. That's four down. Here you go.